Now I don't have a crazy big beautiful walk-in closet or anything like that, but I do have behind these doors some very sparkly and intriguing outfits. Hello belly dance princesses and princes, I'm Magnolia and today we're going to be doing something really fun and exciting and in my opinion is one of the top three reasons to be a belly dancer and that is costumes. Sparkly and glittery costumes and props and accessories and all sorts of things. So today we're going to be doing a belly dance costume tour. First up we have this bra and belt set. This was designed by a belly dancer in New York and I bought it off of her so it was a used costume but you can find some great deals on used costumes there's nothing wrong with that this set is great because you can pair it with any skirt or any style of pants so I really love it and you can see it's got a ton of sparkle ton of bling now for every costume that I'm pulling out I'm gonna leave a link for the video of it up above so and down in the description box below so you can check out what all of them look like when they are being danced in Second up, we have this beautiful bra and belt set by Anastasia Romania. And you can see this stylization is very different than the one that you just saw that was crystals. This is a more vintage belly dance style. It's got the coins and the gold look, so you can pair it with, again, different skirts and pants, but the aesthetic of this is more of the vintage classic belly dance vibe than the more modern one you saw on the sparkly one. And this one makes a ton of noise. Next up, we have this blue costume from Cotter, and this one you can see the belt is actually attached to the skirt, which makes it super easy to put on. It has all this fun blue fringe that moves around when you do hip work, and it comes with a cape attachment as well. Next, we have this beautiful lime green and dark green costume from Jahara. This is an American costume designer. This is a costume I use primarily for restaurant gigs or uh, gigs and hookah lounges, things like that. This one has a lot of bling and movement and it also has this beautiful bright color. So it really makes a big statement in a dark place like a restaurant sort of environment. Now, for the more tribal, fusion-y sides of things, I do have this beautiful costume that was made by a Russian belly dancer. And the fabric of this costume is the main reason why I bought it, because the fabric, if you can see up close, is so gorgeous. I mean, the sheen of it is so beautiful, and the pattern, oh, as soon as I saw it, I immediately bought it. This is also one of my oldest costumes. I've had this one for such a long time. Just because the fabric is just so unique, it would be hard to replace. Next, we have this beautiful costume by Polina. Um, this one is one of my newer costumes, so I haven't worn it for more than just one performance because it's brand new, but this one I like a lot because it's black. I didn't have a black costume before, and it has a belt sash over it as well, so it's a really elegant style costume. You can see here the beadwork on the top of the bra is super pretty and creates a lot of sparkle on stage as well. And here I have another costume by Anastasia Romania. This one is very bright as you can see. It's white with pinks and blues which is super beautiful. It's got lacy fabric which is also really beautiful, but it is kind of a hassle to deal with because the lace wants to like snag and hook onto everything, but it's kind of worth it because it's a really beautiful costume. You can see it has these beautiful big pink flowers as well as some smaller blue and white flowers and these giant pink gems that are just so beautiful on stage with the lights coming down and shining off of them. And here is another costume by Polina. This is also one of my uh, newest costumes. This one is my newest costume currently. Uh, this one you can see it's got that deep rich red that I just think is just classic. You can't go wrong with a red color. It has beautiful red roses on it which is great and then a lot of beautiful beadwork here as well. Now my favorite part about this costume is that it has this nice slit for your right leg with this beautiful trim that just flows and sways like the petals of a flower. And so it's really just a super elegant costume that's never going to go out of style. Whew, my arm is like getting sore from carrying all these costumes. They're so heavy. It's like a workout 
lifting these costumes up and down. This is a Dogen Goth costume. He is one of my favorite designers. This costume I'm actually selling right now because as you saw, I have a brand new red costume. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this red one. What I love about this costume is that it comes with a bunch of accessories that match. So it has armbands, wristbands, a necklace as well. So all pieces that match the costume, so you don't have to worry about jewelry. And then on top of it, it has all this great fringe. This piece also looks really great on stage because look at this beadwork. There's so much, so much beadwork. It's just like a red chandelier that you can wear to belly dance in. Oh, last full costume. This is also a Dogen Gok costume and it is my favorite costume in my whole closet right now. Um, this one is actually also the heaviest costume that I have and what really is amazing about this costume is the fabric. Look at this pattern fabric. It's just so beautiful. I just want to wear it all the time and sleep in it and go grocery shopping in it and just live in this costume. This costume also comes with a bunch of accessories. It has these arm bands. It has a leg band that is awesome. It has a necklace as well, wristbands. And you can see, again, the beadwork for the Dogen Gok costumes up close. It's beautiful. Again, it's like, a, it's like a chandelier. Now I want to show you some accessories that are also in the belly dance closet that I use, of course, to accessorize the costumes or props that I use as well to work with. First off, I have all these different uh, flowers in every single color possible, as you saw, to match all the different color costumes that belly dancers have. And these I'll sometimes put in my hair or on the costumes, just as a little extra something cute and fun to add to any costume. As far as veils go, veils are probably the most common belly dance prop and they come in lots of different styles. I have some chiffon ones that are half circles and rectangles. I have some double veils that were dyed to match certain costumes. I have some um, older silk veils that I use for restaurant gigs. I have gradient veils here that have like different gradients of colors. So you can see here I've got quite a lot quite a lot of veils to choose from, but it's kind of necessary because you need to coordinate with your costume. Then I have two types of Isis wings. I have gold Isis wings and silver Isis wings. That pretty much covers all of your bases for your costuming options. You can get Isis wings with tons of different colors and different styles. Also in my belly dance closet, I have one of my candle trays. I have two candle trays now. This was my very first one, so it's a little bit on the smaller side. My new candle tray is actually much bigger. It comes out to about here compared to this tray and it's gold. So I have a silver and a gold candle tray. Then in my closet, I also have this kaftan or belly dance cover up. Also, it hooks up by snaps. So you have little snaps to hook up so you can just rip it off as soon as you have to be back in costume. Oh, okay. I didn't realize until making this video how much stuff I had in my belly dance closet. Then also in the closet, I have these belly dance bottoms. So I have this huge green 45 yard skirt. I have this um, satin blue skirt with two slits in it. I have some red harem pants as well. Then I have this beautiful pinky corally skirt with a trim on the end. This is made by Souffle Boutique. I love her. Then I have another red skirt here with gold trim. This actually came with that gold bra and belt set that you saw. And I also have a Polina practice set that includes this uh, animal print skirt with a little long sleeved top to match. And finally, in my belly dance closet, I have my gig bag, which is super important because you've got to carry all that crap I just showed you to the actual venue. So you need to have a pretty big bag. I realize now that it's a lot more stuff than I thought it was. I also want to point out that I didn't buy all this stuff at once. That would be ridiculously expensive. All of the props and accessories and costumes I have collected over the years as I have progressed as a dancer. So I wouldn't recommend going out and buying 20 costumes immediately. So it's really important to do your research and pick out costumes that are best for you and your specific dance goals. All right, so that is it for this belly dance costume tour. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, 
belly dance performance and instructional videos, please subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I hope that you enjoyed checking out everything in my closet that you can see all around me here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!